Based in Los Angeles, there is a man who is responsible for some of the most outrageous costumes in music performance history. It's sort of my duty to get a reaction from the audience before anybody ever sits down at the piano or opens their mouth to sing or, or does anything. You walk out on stage and the audience is already excited and having a good time, laughing or applauding or whatever. That's, that's part of the job and that's the best part. Bob Mackie has been a costume designer to the stars for nearly 50 years. He is not a man to design clothes that are mundane and modest. He and Elton were a perfect fit. Elton would come in and we'd do a lot and then I might not see him for a few years. And then he would show up in California and come by and say, I need some things, you know. That was really fun, I love that. It was all vinyl and kind of sculpture. Bob began to design for Elton in the mid-1970s at the peak of his fame, and their working relationship lasted for over a decade. So I did this big fur trim cape, which became much, much, much longer, and a jumpsuit with little peekaboo holes and everything, and I thought, are you sure you want to wear this? A whole mirrored cap that he wore later on with some other things. It, it was kind of fun. A uh, big muscle man brought him up on his shoulders onto the stage and, and deposited him on the piano. <laughs> it, was, it was great funny. Of course, he had platform shoes underneath the, the big bell-bottom pants. Spandex was very popular at that point. It was shiny and, and stretchy and fit, you know, probably too tight. That was white. Everybody's costumes were silver and white, and he had these great huge sequin balls and whatever, and a big top hat, and he looked, he looked great. He really looked great in that. In the late 1970s, there was a receding part of Elton that he particularly wanted to hide from the world, and as ever, Bob was there to help him. I don't think I ever did anything without a hat. Well, there were a couple of times when he was having special, crazy, you know, wigs made, really outrageous wigs made, uh, using them really like hats. We made him little caps to match everything and caps that he could give away and throw away and, and wear them once and throw them in the audience or whatever. That was Donald Duck and of course he had trouble sitting on the piano bench uh, when he got out there but he had never tried it until he got out on stage but he managed. Creating outfits for an energetic musician who can be performing for many hours is a tricky business. Some of the ladies, you know, they wear it for one song and then they walk off and they change clothes and come right back again and another and another and another. Uh, with Elton, he'd put it on and wear it for the first half of the show at least, and sometimes it was the whole concert. Here's a, a sort of devil costume. <laughs> In 86, we did some wild stuff. Here he had a whole, a whole coat that was covered in in sequins, like a, like a clown costume kind of, but then he had a little beanie with a, with a, a propeller on it. <laughs> and here's another one that, that we did for him. Big, great, huge hat with all these crystals and mirrors and, and feathers and, you know, I don't know, maybe he wanted to be a showgirl, I don't know. 